Benvenuti amici! Welcome to Isabella's Bella Cucina and my name is Isabella Morgetti Vicari. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a wonderful lasagna rollatini as I call it. It's lasagna with mozzarella, ricotta and mixed vegetables. A fabulous vegetarian dish. But I gotta tell you, you don't have to be a vegetarian to love this dish. So let me tell you what I've gotten so far. I've got the pasta right here in front of me and I'm gonna show you that I pre-cooked the pasta so it's nice and easy to handle, okay? What we're gonna do first of all, I'm gonna mix the ingredients. I'm gonna take some ricotta. Oops, here we go. And I'm gonna put that in a bowl and you're gonna see how everything is done so quickly. I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons right now of Romano cheese, because I love Romano cheese. I'm gonna give you a couple of cracked eggs. And I'm just going to stir that up just a little bit. Now, what have I done so far? I have my favorite vegetables. For this recipe, I used red peppers, zucchini, and eggplant, because I love those. But if those are not your favorite vegetables, use your favorite. If you like broccoli, if you like cauliflower, if you like asparagus, I want you to use it. And all you need to do is put the vegetables, cut them up in small pieces, put them in a saute pan, all right, with a little bit of olive oil and literally one, two, three, all right, you just wanna put a little color in there because they're actually gonna cook in the oven as well when we bake the lasagna. But for now, I got them already done for you. So I'm just gonna stir this up. I'm gonna season this with a little bit of kosher salt little bit of cayenne because you know me I love my cayenne I'm gonna throw the vegetables in in the same mixture as you can see stir it up beautifully now when I'm making a bigger batch sometimes the mixture gets a little thick to make it a little easier to handle I literally take a dollop of two of my marinara sauce. And don't forget, you can go to foodwithpassion.com to get Chef Isabella's marinara recipe that you're gonna love. So I'm just gonna do this just so you can see. What that does is it actually loosens it up. So we're gonna stir that in, not to mention adding fabulous flavors. Now watch how simple this recipe is. Another reason why I absolutely love this dish, because you can make it for one, you can make it for two, you can make it for a hundred. It doesn't get any easier than that. How wonderful it is to actually personal chef for your family. How wonderful to actually have these meals done ahead of time. And you know what? All you need to do is give yourself a little bit of time on your day that you choose and then get it done, prepare it, and all you have to do is put it in the oven. Watch this. I'm just going to spoon some of the ingredients right here down the center. I'm going to probably do them all at the same time. Okay, you see those beautiful chunky vegetables? Now, you don't have to overflow the, the, the uh, piece of pasta, of course, the lasagna. But I love these chunks of vegetables. And I think they're fabulous, just like this. Now, here we go. I'm just gonna make dinner for two tonight. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of sauce on the bottom. If I were cooking for my whole family, I would use a nine um, by 13 pan, and I would make all of these, I would probably use a whole box of pasta, a lasagna, and increase the volume and you can see that on my recipe it gives you the exact measurements okay to do this for a whole family and see what happens so here we go i'm just coating the bottom of the pan watch this rolling it up so very simply and i'm going to take that seam side and place it down now i got to tell you another reason why i love this is because normally when you eat a lasagna it's usually pretty heavy i have yet to meet a light lasagna that i love so, but this is not heavy at all. 
And another reason it's much healthier for you, it's not as heavy. Now look at this, how simple it is. Now, of course, I've got the lasagna here. I got the, the pasta um, with the seam side down. I'm gonna top it with a little more sauce. Might as well finish that up. Of course, I can't forget the Romano. Little more Romano. And the mozzarella right down the center. And there you go, you're done. Into the oven, 350 degrees till hot and bubbly. Could be 20 minutes, it could be 30 minutes. It depends on the volume of lasagna that you make. Let's put this in the oven. Look at this beautiful lasagna rollatini. Now, if this is not simply incredible and delicious, I don't know what is. Let's give it a try. Gonna plate this right here. Of course, I gotta have some fresh basil. Gonna just cut up a little bit. Sprinkle it on there. And gotta have a little sauce. Here we go. Let's see what this tastes like. Oh, if you could see these beautiful chunks. Ah, got to get that piece of formaggio cheese. Mm. That's fabulous. Your family's going to love it. How wonderful. Can you imagine taking this piece of lasagna rollatini and packing it for your child for lunch? How about packing your husband's lunch instead of him eating at the office the same old, same old, doing something extra special for your family. Do what you can to get them to the table because the most important thing you can do with them is share your time and your love over a fabulous meal. Grazie, we'll see you again. Ciao.